maybe get one of like a doorbell ringer or something clever. That one like you're dropping a, I don't know, noodles into a hot pot of water or something. You know, something clever. What do you think, Josh? What do you think about the sound? You like that when you push the button, it makes that sound? Addressing the back seat. Hello. We're on candid camera. Hey, man, let's, uh... Wow. Hey, Corey, did you order the uh, chilies, man? I didn't. The green chilies? I slacked. Yeah, we're gonna I haven't ordered them. So when we do it, you're gonna make some uh, green chilies, uh, green chili? Like stew, soup, soup, like chili? What happened green is the chili, last time chili? I bought some, I ended up using a bunch of it for sight. I mean, you know, I now do like a chip and salsa thing. Like, oh, nice. And then I started, uh, I, I think I made one batch of green chili stew, a small little batch. And then I ended up just putting the rest on the eggs and shit. <laughs> Dude, it was so nice. fucking good. It was so, really good. So what'd you think, Katie? You had some, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she loved it, man. Dude, I'm telling you. What was your favorite? Here. What was your favorite thing, Katie? What was your favorite thing that Corey made that you liked? Green chilies. Think about it. And, uh, this is your oh, moment on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Huevos ranchos. Huevos ranchos. Yeah. Should we eat at the eggs? I told you, man, I took corn tortillas. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I heated them up, right? And then I, uh, we made the eggs. And then I took uh, potatoes and, like, I, I sauteed was it, them uh, up. Um, can, can potatoes. Can potatoes. Right. Sauteed up the can potatoes with green chili in the skillet, and then poured that over the eggs. With the, was I, oh yeah, then I pinto beads on the side, on top of the tortillas and shit. It was great. Man. They get old school Mexican, huh? It was the real deal. So didn't you have like a Mexican girlfriend when you lived down in New Mexico? Uh, she was Hispanic. Yeah. Hispanic, yeah. Her yeah. mom teach you how to cook. Um, Where'd you learn, where'd you learn uh, to cook? I just, I just kind of picked it up, man. Yeah. I mean, I learned some stuff from some of them, I guess. But that's, that's right. You were, uh, you had a job for a while as a uh, prep, prep cook. Yeah, but I was actually, well, when I, yeah, I did actually. When I moved back to New Mexico, not when I was growing up, but when I, when I lived there in like '90, I was working in the kitchen. They let you cook anything good? Um, steaks? Do you steak? They let me cook all sorts of stuff, man. Yeah. I cooked it all. You didn't have to do lobster, did you? Uh, I don't think they could serve lobster, but it was really kind of crazy, though, because I was, uh, I was probably, definitely was a prep cook, too, and, like, we prepped all our own stuff. I, you know, that was the first time I ever had to, like, cut up a chicken and, like, oh, cut the whole thing up oh, and, like, quarter. slice the breast out. You know, like, yeah. go take the knife against the bone and, like, de-breast it and right, shit, you know yeah, what I mean? Quarter. And use all, yeah, it was like a trip. Learn how to do all that kind of stuff. Yeah, my friend uh, down here, John Goldfarb, is was a uh, chef. He used to uh, cook poolside for a luncheon. He said, man, they had to do live lobster, take them out of the tank, then slice them in half and put them on the grill. He said every time he did, it was just, just geeked him out. And he'd say a little prayer for all the lobster. I don't know about cutting live lobster in half and serving it, man. Rolling. That's kind of it's kind of nasty. Well, I guess I've done it with, you know, finish. And you've been listening to live radio, WGVIL, on the way up, crazyfingers.net, local radio. Sponsored by uh, AVI. Sponsored by AVI. Mr. Gandhi Newton. Hi, me, it's the Flying Monkey. I'm the dad of all the ones from the Wizard of Oz and Breads.